Hello everyone, may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you and keep you safe. Today I want to share a message from the Lord. It's more like a reminder because it's been written. I'm going to start by reading a passage from the Bible so you can have a better understanding of the message in this dream. On Galatians chapter 3 verse 21 to 22 it says, Is there a conflict then between God's law and God's promises? Absolutely not. If the law could give us new life, we could be made right with God by obeying it. But the scriptures declare that we are all prisoners of sin. So we receive God's promise of freedom only by believing in Jesus Christ. On November 17, 2020, the Lord gave me a dream. In this dream, some scenes look like in the times of Jesus. That's what it came to my mind. I saw a man sitting down in the floor. His arms were tied up behind him. He had blue jeans and a t-shirt like the way we dress in these times. I saw Jesus like in the same room but not visible to the man who was tied up. Jesus was like in the back of the man who was tied up. He was with other people, I believe they were the apostles, but I didn't see them clearly. I saw Jesus getting up and moving around. I guess he was talking to them. The image looked like in Jesus' time except for the man that was tied up. He looked from our time. The guy that was tied up seemed like he was talking to Jesus. I didn't know what they were talking about, but I knew that Jesus didn't like the beliefs of this man. I was trying to understand what bad things this man had done, but I couldn't figure out. He looked nice. He was just normal. He didn't look like he was living a crazy life or anything like that. He looked obedient. I looked at his face and it seemed like he wanted to please Jesus but something didn't allow him to. I was thinking how come he doesn't ask Jesus for forgiveness? Jesus will forgive him. I saw the guy moving his head in disbelief. Then the Lord woke me up from the dream. Anyone who obeys the law of God, the Ten Commandments, but do not believe that Jesus Christ came and died for the forgiveness of sins, is still a prisoner of sin. The man who was tied up was following the law of God, but didn't believe that Jesus Christ came and died for the forgiveness of sins. That's why he was still a prisoner of sin. We must believe that Jesus Christ came and died for the forgiveness of sins. And we need to follow his law. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 17, Jesus said, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 to 14, it says, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enters through it. But small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only few find it. Walking with Jesus is not easy, but you will be okay. No matter what comes in your life, Jesus will be right by our side, guiding us every single step of the way, because we are walking in His road. In John chapter 3 verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. We must believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God for us to get to the Father. Jesus is the only way. There is no other way. Only Jesus can get us to the Father. I pray that people will understand this message. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you and keep you safe.